Hello and welcome to The Faith Perspective with Andre Acha and me, Beatrice de Cruz on Catholic SG Radio. Now, The Faith Perspective gives us an opportunity to discuss issues or events in the church and in the world. And in particular, today's episode is going to be about the work of Caritas Humanitarian Aid and Relief Initiatives also known as, or oh, Singapore that is, also known as CARIS for short. Now, one of their upcoming events is the Humanitarian Forum and Fair. And it aims, of course, uh, to inspire many through this platform of dialogue and engagement in humanitarian initiatives within our region. Yes, and in the studio today, we have two guests who will be sharing their personal experiences of serving with CARIS. So Thomas Lowe, who is on the CARIS Board of Directors and is part of the Humanitarian Forum and Fair as the Organising Committee Co-Chairperson. Beside him is Anthony Tan, a delegate for Men Volunteers and New Humanity at Fokolari Movement Southeast Asia and Pakistan, which is also a member organization of CARIS. So, a very warm welcome to the both of you to our Good humble morning. studio here. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome, gentlemen. Okay, we're going to start off with, of course, the you know, the man who's already been on the spot before. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, um, you know, since uh, this uh, is a biannual mm. uh, event, you know, and the last one being in 2019? Yes, 2019. Right. So, how is this year's Humanitarian Forum and Fair going to be different? Okay, because the last two years, or rather the, the middle one that didn't happen, was Catholic Donor SG. Right. And uh, it was also COVID, so we yeah. didn't want to clash with the event with that. Um, the Coming out of COVID, this, this year's uh, 2023, what we call HFF, mm. is to discuss the impact of the pandemic and how the humanitarian approach will change post-pandemic. Right. Things are different. Mm. Recovery is there, but things are different. So we're going to cover what is used. What used to be covered was a lot of about the, just the poor, but now we're going to cover things like care for creation. Um, there are oh, specific, yeah, there are specific talks in plenaries where they're going to cover how to apply. Like Father Friar Derek, yep, is going to cover how uh, the Pope Francis encyclical on Laudati Si, which is care for Christian, how, how he's going to talk and give a flavour on that. Mm -hmm. uh, Father Andrew from Focolari Movement, which right. he, uh, he's from, right. he's going to answer the, 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 the topic of sort of answering the cry of the poor and of the earth because there is a impact now that's different post-COVID. So a little bit more on just not just the poor, but care for the earth and post-COVID. Wonderful. Actually, that, that makes it really... Um, general enough for also people to understand and, and, and also appreciate, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. Every, any, anyone who's interested in this area would, would find something in the fair, right? There, there, right? there are many tracks they can go to. Mm. Yeah. Right? So we start off the day with plenary, of course, with mass. Yes. With cardinal. Rightfully. Yes, yes. We, we start yes. with cardinal yes. starting, yes. That, starting <laughs> us all. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then we have plenary sessions with some distinguished speakers. Check out the website. Mm. So that, mm. And then in the af after lunch, we have all the breakout tracks. We run it twice so that um, across the three tracks, most people could at least pick your favourite two. Right, mm. right. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult, you know, when you have so many plenaries and they're all good. Eh? As a participant, it's a little bit difficult to, to choose because all of them are actually important and wonderful. But never mind, I'm sure people will be inspired by the Holy Spirit to choose yeah. the right ones. That's right, that's right. Yeah, and I also uh, realised that on the website, uh, there are tickets for uh, youth, for children. So, mm. who is the Humanitarian Forum Fair for? And, you know, can ch can children and youth also attend? Um, and how young are we looking at? What can they look forward to at the Humanitarian Forum and Fair? Okay, so from a ticket standpoint, let me just sell some koyo. <laughs> <laughs> Before the 24th of May, which is... Very soon. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, right. that's an that's an early bird. So if you oh, go nice. there, there uh, there's a discounted price. Right. After that, it goes goes to a standard price, which is a few dollars more. Mm. The tickets just go off, go to defraying the cost. So right. Mm. We actually spend much more on that. It's for the community. I'm sure. And to, to answer who's suitable, actually everyone can come. Mm. They need to, I suppose, from a can 
young children come, they, they can. However, being too young, they probably won't understand many of the topics. So kind of mm. pick and, and your, the, the, how exposed your child is. If you have already been doing, you know, uh, little charity works or mission works and all that, I think they would understand and appreciate. Right. Mm. So no, no real age uh, minimum or limit there. Mm. Any, anyone's welcome. Right. The idea is the, the, the topics, right? So check out the topics. Um, if that's an area that you want to have been doing, you can learn more. Mm. Or uh, something you want to know more and haven't had an exposure on, then come and see. Mm. I think particularly, particularly things to do with the earth and, and things like that. I think uh, yeah. uh, the youth and the young kids are, are, are very much interested in that. And especially, you know, if they can make things uh, and uh, using recycled materials and all that. Is, or learn how they can be part of a bigger movement in a way. Or of... just playing with mud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anthony, let's bring you into the conversation. Uh, you're a member of the Focolare yes. movement and um, you're also a member uh, of Caris as well. Yes. So how are you marrying uh, the, uh, should I say, the ethos of, of, of both these organisations? Uh, um, <coughs> for the Focolare, we actually are involved in many different things, right. but also very much we are in new humanity. Just how you were saying, talking mm -hmm. about humanity, humanitarian. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, we believe in have, uh, a united world. So, mm -hmm. so the new humanity uh, means that we collaborate with other organizations, and we are all the same church. We are all in the same family. Indeed. So. We are part, one of the members of the Focola, uh, of the Caris who reach out to society mm -hmm. to create this new humanity. That's right. why we are very much affiliated to them and involved with them. Now I'm going <laughs> to ask you to sell some koyo also and share, but also for uh, you know for our listeners yes. to find out a little bit more about the Focolare movement. In a nutshell, what is the movement about? Uh, the Focolare movement. In a word, is unity, yeah. uh, and this unity is born from God. From may they all be one, mm -hmm. John, John seventeen twenty one. So this may they all be one for us means that uh, I just read live. it actually. <laughs> Today's gospel, yeah, yeah, and um, means that we live the gospel. What Jesus taught us that we are all children of the same Father. And, and that God is the father of us all. And so if we are all children, then, you know, children should be part of us, you know. Absolutely. And the whole of creation awaits the revealing of the children of God. That's why we, we are all together in this, no? Indeed, indeed. Mm. Um, um, so this unity also reminds yeah. me of um, how the, the Focolare movement is also having a booth, right? At yeah, yeah. the Humanitarian Forum and Fair. Yeah. So how it's does... selling koyo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, how does the work in Carries blend with uh, the goals and values of the Focolare movement? Oh, um, Focolare is in all the different countries. Mm. Um, we are in 180 countries, but also in the region, there are a lot of poor and others, and we yeah. reach out to help them. And, and so we work with uh, Carries to, to do this, because uh, together we can reach out to more people. We, uh, Carries also together with us can go to Vietnam where we feed the hungry poor and mm. the Philippines where mm. we have this echo farm where the farmers get the benefits and yes. all this. So there are many different things that we collaborate together. Mm. That's wonderful. Actually, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. You know, and, and to find unity in coming together and bringing really the love of Christ to these people in the region, um, I think it's so powerful. Mm. You know, it's really a wonderful statement that the church is making. Yeah, so many parts uh, coming together as one body of Christ. Uh, actually, that's really a beautiful Im imagery. Uh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. That's right. Yep, so if you've just joined us uh, today on The Faith Perspective, uh, we're speaking with Thomas Lowe, who is a board of director of Carriers, and also uh, he's the organising committee co-chairperson for the Humanitarian Forum and Fair. And Anthony Tan, delegate for men volunteers at uh, and New Humanity Focolare Movement in Southeast Asia and Pakistan. Yeah. So just to hear a little bit more about uh, both of your personal experiences, uh, Thomas, 
how did you get involved in, in CARIS and has your involvement in the humanitarian forum and fair changed your perspective in life? Okay, so in the past, okay, I got involved before the 2019 fair. Um, mm. Sometime, because the, it takes a year to organise. So midway yeah. through the organising, the, that, the then chairperson got another role. Ah. So, so he said, okay, uh, I can't do that role and chair this whole event. Right. Mm. So he invited me to say, hey, you want to come and help out? Uh, then help out became chairperson <laughs> for, for the first one. So, so in the end, actually, you got arrowed. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Friend, uh, friend. Uh, that's, that, friend that, 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 that's, that's what how, friends do yeah, for you, right? <laughs> that, that's how you kind of get involved in church. But it was but a calling. Yeah. It was a yeah. calling. I finished being a catechist and literally jumped into getting involved in Keras because wow. I, I finished a confirmation batch okay. of, of youth. So mm. from there, that, that journey opened my eyes to, oh, wow, Singapore is so fortunate. And Keras helps many, many in the region with, through the many member organizations, what we call MOs. Right. And then when you start to read the stories uh, where they share back with us because we help to then be the the common place to publicize. Mm. So be it Focolare or the rest, like yes. X or GRS, we, we try to be, create the platforms so that in Singapore, the, the, the Catholic Church doesn't have to like go to 15 different websites to figure out what's going on. They Correct. still get the details there, but at least we try to bring it together, sell the idea. So that exposure and the request for help comes far and wide, mm. not just from the MOs, from other Caritas organizations globally. So that suddenly opens your eyes to go, oh, wow, the, the, it's tough in the world. It is. And so that, that helped to say, okay, so learn to trust, uh, learn to organize and, and ourselves and help to reach out. So more and more since then, we've tried our best to create the platforms for the mm. MOs to be able to do their work. Mm. So you think about it, we, we try to coordinate a certain archdiocese level to, to bring resources, mm. common resources to help them, give them a website, give them a way to fundraise, etc. Right. And then they are then set up for the, the work on the ground. We, you know, we support them very much on that. Mm. Occasionally, I see us jumping in to, for emergency help. Right. Like when India had the need. Yes. We, we organised. That's correct. Send oxygen tanks. I remember that one, yes, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I mean, so, some of those things that we, we can do at the national level, yes. but the touch the last person on the ground, it's the MOs because we are not equipped for that kind of reach. Mm, not yet. You think uh, one day there might be a possibility to build that sort of uh, expertise? Um, that's not the plan. The plan is to enable because mm. we are a small group of right. you know, across the archdiocese. Yeah. It's to enable to, and inspire the rest. So, Platforms like HFF is to for people to come, mm. listen, get inspired. Maybe a new MO will get formed. Right. Mm. Which has happened in the past. Ah. I think that Caris is through the MOs yes. to go to the region. So the eye cannot do what the ears do, no? And Absolutely. Ears. <laughs> no, that's a very, very good way of putting that. And and since you've uh, you know uh, mentioned that, Anthony, also from a personal perspective, um, and you know, being a member of Focolare, how did you discern that you know that this uh, humanitarian and uh, humanitarian fair, a forum and fair, uh, would be the right fit for you, and for God's call to what you are doing also in Focolare? Um, yeah, it, like what I was saying, Focolare believes in living the word, living the gospel. So for me, it is to you know, we try, let, we try to put it into practice. Mm. So give and you will receive, you know. Did we try it? Did we try it? So we tried it and then we realized that really we receive, we receive, you know, and this is our life. So I believe that in the humanitarian forum and fair, which I participated in the last round 2019, mm. um, really it is a Pentecost. It is mm. a, a time, you know, when the Tower of Babel in long time ago, the Tower of Babel is where pride and selfishness actually yes. divided humanity. Indeed. But, but Pentecost is where, you know, love and self-sacrificing service, 
you know, brings humanity together that all spoke the same language again. Indeed. And the underlying language is, the underlying language that everybody hears in their heart is love and service. Mm. So well put. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, are you from uh, the uh, uh, parish of St. Anthony's? I was. Uh, I, I grew up. I grew up in Saint Anthony's. Wow, okay. <laughs> Mandai, Mandai. Okay, Mandai. Okay, I, I, I can see. I think uh, where that spirit as well came from, um, and I suppose you and Lawrence Chong oh, are yeah. good friends, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, we grew up uh, together, and he's now in in uh, Jogja, I think. Uh, yeah, I think he might. I don't know whether he has came back. Yeah, he just went to job job. That's right. Probably, yeah. 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 Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I think with, with your personal experiences, both uh, Anthony and Thomas as well, I'm sure there must have been challenges along the way. Mm. So maybe could you share um, for for both of you what what were some of the challenges that you have faced so far in in the mission work that you are involved in? Yeah. So. My focus is uh, in, in the Caris board and in such organizing is trying to bring people together mm. uh, to see that the program works for them, mm. whatever we're trying to do works. Many a times, with diverse minds and diverse opinions, it's, yeah. it's, it's challenging. So mm. to walk that thin line of uh, we do this with the right purpose, with the right heart, uh, have patience. Uh, mm. Not everyone always agrees. You don't always get a pleasant outcome in discussions or group meetings. Right. Mm. Or even... But if it's done in yeah. love. Correct. So it's, it's always to remember Charity. to everyone that the message I tend to give, even the committee, is the journey is just as important as the end. So let's not, for the sake of the work, uh, finish the whole thing mm. unhappy with each other. So yes. it, it needs to be, the work is edifying even getting there. Mm. So the respect, the, the let's just try. I mean, there will be a disagreement. So those are the kind of challenges. It's, it's very human, right? Like like in the church today, yeah, there are always yeah. disagreements, different opinions. So the, the, how do you navigate that? And That's right. Just and it's okay to have uh, differences mm. of opinions and, and, you know, different ideas. And, and I think that's how we grow as well. Correct. But, yeah. So that's always the hardest part. So those are the, the challenges. Is is the, the opinions and let's let's not let ego not let's not get ego in the way, you know, and things yeah. like that. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you say to people who say, you know, we also have poor at home. We have the poor at home. Um, why do we need to extend ourselves beyond our boundaries and our and into the region? Singapore is in a very unique spot in this region. Um, for the poor at home, we have caritas. Yes. They take care of them. Uh, but because of the legal structures in Singapore, caris is required mm. in order for you to reach outside Singapore. Um, the, the government is very careful with, you know, as it signs all its global agreements to say that, okay, how money flows, let's make sure that they're going to the right places. We're not Rightly so. doing the wrong mm. thing. Therefore, yeah. based on that, we too see the need for overseas. So if there wasn't a caris, the Caritas would have taken care of local and some neighbouring needs. That's quite normal. Mm. But in Singapore, Caris does that. And to, to answer that question, there's always poor everywhere. Mm. And because we are fortunate that we are small, so we don't get natural disasters, we are quite protected, and we are generally better off than the rest of the region where you, they are more rural, mm. uh, may perhaps less developed in some parts. Yes. Therefore, the ability for us to reach those in need on the fringes where people don't reach them in their places. So it could be somewhere in the Philippines where certain needs are there that are not met. Mm. Uh, it could be something in Bangladesh or Myanmar or Indonesia, wherever. So that, that's why we are in a unique position to be able to do that. Because we have been given more and when more is given, more is expected. Mm. So Absolutely. That, that's why... We have been blessed, actually. Yes, we have been blessed. Which is why we cannot just sit and just not do anything. Mm. Amen to that. Anthony, before we go, I just want to ask you, what would you like to say to encourage, um, you know, someone who maybe he still has not made up his mind or her mind to uh, come for this uh, forum and fair? What would you like to say to them? How would you encourage them? I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I think that um, listen to the heart. No? And, and come and experience the fire 
the fire of the Holy mm. Spirit. Wonderful. So well said. And just before Pentecost, I think yeah. uh, that is truly uh, the fire and the voice that we should be listening to. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Actually, just one more question. Mm. One more question before we go. Huh? Um, what are you both most looking forward to uh, yourself in this humanitarian forum and fair? And what are your hopes for the participants this year? Okay. Of course, being organizing the organizing committee, I hope it goes smoothly and yeah. we get enough um, people who, who buy the tickets so that at least we know that people are coming. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's always hard stopping to say that, okay, after spending 12 to 15 months organizing and then you just get a small crowd. Yeah. So we, that's, that is a worry. But in faith of, with, like, with all the other times we've done this, we just trust that we just do our bit. Amen. So what, what I do look forward to is those who come, get inspired, and find their next step. We are just there to help them find something that means more to them. And the next step in their faith, this could be a, a trigger point. Mm. Indeed. Indeed. I want to echo what uh, Thomas said. Really, it's to come together and to be united to be united and to experience the Holy Spirit, but at the same time, to be sent on a mission, to be sent forth, to, to go out, to, to go out to the poor, to go out, to listen to the cry of the poor and the cry of creation, and, to, and as children of God, to serve them. Indeed. Mm. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I yes. truly see and I hear uh, God's call and His love in the work that uh, both of you are in, and we thank you so much for coming down and being with us this morning and sharing with us. And hopefully, the sisters and brothers, uh, if you haven't thought about it, maybe now it's about time for you to think a little bit about the Humanitarian Forum and Fair. Uh, it's something that uh, might truly move you to do uh, something out of your comfort zone. Yes. You never know. Mm. Okay. Right. So we've been speaking to uh, Thomas Lowe. He's a board member and director of CARIS uh, and the Humanitarian Forum and Fair Organizing Committee co-chairperson, as well as Anthony Tan. He is a delegate for the Men Volunteers and New Humanity at the Focolare Movement in Southeast Asia and Pakistan. Yes, and just a reminder, if you're catching and listening to us right now on the live stream, The Faith Perspective goes out every week on Tuesday mornings at 8.30am. Now, the encore broadcast of the program is at 8pm tonight and again tomorrow at 5pm and Thursdays at 2.10pm. And you can also catch this on various platforms like our podcast on Catholic SG Radio, mm -hmm. uh, Spotify or Apple Podcasts as well. Not forgetting our YouTube which is catholic.sg. Okay, one last chance to sell your koyo. <laughs> okay, Ken. Yes, especially the early bird. Huh? <laughs> so, it's just a day. It's a Saturday on the 24th of June. Locations at Catholic Junior College. Uh, quite easy to get to. Mm -hmm. uh, early bird tickets, kind of like price ends tomorrow. And then after that, it's just the normal price. It's just 20 or $30. So, it's not that much. It covers lunch and the facilities mm. and pays for the speakers from com coming from overseas. Indeed, indeed. So thanks, Thomas, Anthony. Thank you so yes, much for being you. with us. And your sisters and brothers, once again, if you would like to catch uh, this interview and others at your own time, uh, as uh, B said, well, you can catch it on our Catholic SG Radio app, Spotify and iTunes. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Andre Acha with Beatrice de Cruz. Thank you for joining us here on Catholic SG Radio. Touching hearts, enlightening minds.